yes yes massive and crew welcome back today we are going to do a video about a new little tool that i found and downloaded the other day um in renoise it's very 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 cool tool um it doesn't renoise doesn't do this as native so um it's kind of hard uh if you, if you did don't know about this tool so it's pretty handy to know um, basically in most DAOs you can do this as sort of standard Cubase can do it as standard so can Logic I wish uh, that you can have this implemented but anyway either way it still works lovely and uh, this is about um, moving the faders all together as a group um, now I just thought I'd do a quick little tutorial on how you do that um, here we've got like a little arrangement that I've got set up um, that basically um, I've sort of in the middle of working on now as you can see let's say for example I've got um, basically all of this cranked up because it usually in the workflow one of the problems that I have if you're if you know is that um, I tend to have everything cranked up and I like it banging I'd love a bit of distortion on there but sometimes I over sort of step my limits inside the DAO and uh, basically I have all of these little faders here um, that end up sort of really clipping uh, and then the overall result is no matter how much t you turn down this fader here you'll hear distortion because basically sorry not that one this one so you don't what you want to find is when you're doing your output, you're outputting your mix. You, you don't want it up here because it's going to give you grunge, and it's going to when you go to say, for example, the mastering stage um, where you bring up the levels and you do compression and multiband and all this stuff as well to make your song sound louder. Um, the louder that you put it, it's going to sort of cause it to be a little bit. Um, grungy sounding and and you, you know you won't really get a good sound at all so which is why um i've always wanted to do this and um i just decided that uh you know i found this tool and i found it so handy i just decided so anyway without blabbing on about it um so what you do is you go to let me try and find this website now uh yes so you go to this this website here I found a link on the Renoise forum. Thanks to uh, Brisket. Um, who was it? Brisket or, or DJ Jerok? Um, and I basically followed it, and I found this plugin here that's called Multi Volumes. Brilliant little plugin. Uh, you just download it, and then all you do to install Renoise tool, which is super cool. Um, I do urge. Um, everyone to check out the Renoise tool sections. There's some really cool doofers and all kinds of stuff that people make and upload to the um, Renoise tool shop, I believe it is. Not even the shop. I think most of it is um, for free. And you can grab all your tools. Anyway, well, I'll come back to that in a minute. So you double click on this and basically all it does is it will just load the tool straight into Renoise just like that I mean it's, it's cancelling out a few of them because I'm using the latest version of Renoise um, it's just cancelling out um, some of the plugins that, that won't work with this version but yeah and then you just go to tools and then you'll see volume multi volumes click on multi volumes and then you just do it if you click here you'll see that down here it's in, it's disabled if you click here it's enabled uh it also does pre-faders i'm not sure what pre-faders are all about but maybe someone could comment in the video down below and let me know um what pre-faders are i guess it's before the faders that you hear bef what goes on before the output um yeah okay something like that whatever um yeah so what was i saying now i was going back to um yeah, so the, the Renoise tools. So basically, if you want to check out some more tools, you would go to um, your Renoise tool browser here. And then it would take you to renoise.com forward slash tools. I'll put that link in the description as well for you guys. And as you can see, look, there's tons of stuff on here to check out. Um, you go to tools. Do, 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 tools, tools, tools. Where is it? Browser tool catalog. There we go. Right. And look at that. All these things can um you know manipulate your your projects in some way or the other um check it out 
and just just uh, you know see what uh, what what's what what works for you. So anyway, back to this other other uh, issue. Um, so we press play, and as you can hear, that's just grunged out. So I want to bring down all the bring down the volumes, but I don't want to have to do it one by one because I might just lose my balance, lose the mix. Because down here the faders sound okay. But it's even though it sounds okay, you'll find that if you've got all these cranked up, it'd be a nightmare, right? So, okay, so basically you go to your pattern editor, click over here, I hit Control All A for all, select all, or you can go up here, I believe, select, select, select. Is there a select here? I don't really use that to be honest. Um, what about here? Pattern, select. I guess no okay anyway I just press Apple A or control A and that works for me uh, once that's done now you must select all of these tracks I think if you select some uh, you will be able to move them up and down as a group I believe but you could you'd make a group for that anyway so um, basically once you've done that all of a sudden now you can then move everything up and down and it all moves up and down proportionally. This is what I love about it. Look. So what you can do now is you can then turn down your parts like that. And just get them out of the, you know, no, above. Get them out, you know, just below the zero, whatever, so that they're not sort of distorting. And then you can just deselect here again. And then turn your master up. As you can see, I'm getting, I'm now getting more level, and the wave is a bit more fuller. So there you have it, guys. Um, don't forget, if you like my tutorial today, uh, please subscribe down below. Um, spread the word. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Um, also check out www.sampleoids.co.uk for all samples there's some downloads um, I've also got a mailing list uh, if you join the mailing list uh, today you'll get 100 free samples also lots of special offers coming your way take care, God bless, peace